captivate the audience is a strange art. One needs to be subtle in a way not to scare the weak-minded away and miss all of the good material they gathered during the day. But one also needs to be brave enough to expose the inner workings of the imagination. After what I've seen posted this evening, I can guess my roommate is skilled in the latter. You never should be predictable. Stories tend to have these fellows within them. Without them, we're merely just witnessing daily life, and who pays to escape the normal with the normal? There are the lovers, whether they're loving life, loving each other, or more often than not with today's audience, they love the fact that someone is equally as horny and desperate as they are at the given moment. And the warriors, who fight at the nearest convince, Finally, there are the social commentators who witness the daily scene as if they're in the show itself. Uh, some people tend to think that you need a form of comic relief in there at times, but I let my work personally oh, speak. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, shit. It's fine. You, uh, I'm fine. Okay, good. I was running really fast because Dr. Ober asked me to bring these documents to Professor Tati for some reason. He wouldn't tell me, but I think that it's all the love notes that he writes during class breaks after she visits. Chuck, Chuck, please, breathe. I can barely keep up. That sounds like a good story I can save for later, though. I'm sorry, it's been a long day. Well, night. Well, I, I can't even tell anymore. I haven't slept in a long time. Well, makes sense you know why you're running into people like a bowling ball. I'm sorry, if I saw your face, I would have stopped. Not that your face looks like a stop sign. Um, it's just that I know you, and thus I wouldn't have, I would have stopped, you know, because we're friends, and uh, I, your eyes are very blue, and, you know, so I... You're good, Chuck. Uh, I was people watching. Again, I got distracted. Looking for new characters? Yep. I think I need to add some spice to the story again. Well, that last one was pretty spicy. I mean, who... I think that's wild that they let like, you get away with that kind of stuff in a school literary magazine. My work varies in subject matter, but always complies in great strength. Simple, as I write about relations we all humans desire. Success, power, love, lust. Some called my most recent short story, Temptation with Faith, a story about an Italian-American family dealing with the after effects of adultery, a sex fest. I say, they're simply prudish. Gotta make a name for myself somehow. Well, if you're looking for new characters, you should probably come to the film club's mini movie screening tonight. Those guys are literally straight out of a comic strip. Oh, I don't write comedies. What? Th th why not? Plus, you can find inspiration from literally anywhere, right? I, I mean... Awesome. So, I'll send you the details later on. I have to go deliver these documents to Dr. Tachi, otherwise Professor Ober's going to kill me. I, I... Some things, well, some people, rather, are hard to put into words. If cheap wine be the fruit of regret, Rose drinks on. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to bug you with your writing and stuff. You're fine. She's not. She needs group therapy. Did you want anything? I forgot to ask when Cece texted me, but I can always call her and ask her to go back. No, thanks. I'm, I'm good. If I was to drink, it would be with a group of intellectuals, like myself. Not with some distracted kids who probably do their assignments an hour before it's due. So, what's your writing? Just words. Oh, cool. She doesn't find it cool. It's not a painted pong table. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. I just saw Chuck in the quad just now, and we were chatting for a bit. He told me he invited you to his movie premiere tonight. 
Yes, yes, he did. Well, that's exciting. For him. No, for you. Why would it be exciting for me? I don't know those people. <laughs> it's like a movie. That's in the dictionary for a first date. Did this girl just speak those words out of her lip stain sealed mouth? It'll be perfect. I'll be with Orlando tonight, so you'll have the whole dorm to do whatever you want. Maybe all that spicy stuff that you write about in your books. Whoa, and... whoa, whoa. Stop letting your mind wander, please. <sighs> Don't worry about me. I get it. You've been cooped up in this dorm room all semester long. Everyone in this hall knows you need a little something, something. Excuse me? I get it. When I'm a woman, when I think about it, I just need to share it. Are you actually crazy? Chuck and I are not doing anything of such matter. I'm not even gonna go. I have to finish this story. You have all your life to write. How dare she assume life will be so simple? You won't have all your life to get laid. There is such thing as too much of a good thing. I'll be fine. You are so dumb. Excuse me? You are so blind to what's right in front of you right now. Uh, my vision is clear as day. And you're getting lost in a dark forest. Ooh, that's a good line. Write it down. Chuck, someone who is actually normal, wants to get to know you. Someone so peculiar, yet so dull. And you choose to sit and write words that already exist in so many different ways. My stories are popular all over campus. whoop de fucking do you're still a prude. Oh. So empowering of you. You know what? It is. I want to see you get off the freaking pages and go experience the world that you make up inside your head. I'm tired of seeing you sit here and waste your life. I'm not wasting my life. I'm preparing for it. Well, the best way to prepare is to experience. Get up. What? Are you crazy? I room with you, so yeah. What? No, hey, hey, you're going to the movie with Chuck tonight. No, no notebook, no, no pen, no. and you're gonna enjoy yourself. No, I will, no, I'm, I'm staying here. You're I'm not gonna, gonna, get off me, oh. get off me, you bitch. Stop it. No, hey, I'm, I'm not, not hearing it. What? Oh, idiot. <laughs> that bitch. I do not buy my thumb often. But fuck, I do bite my thumb at Rose. being fools. Typical shit. This shit is so funny, right? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> like, they look like idiots right now. <laughs> yeah. Idiots. <laughs> Must be embarrassing for them to have their work seen like a joke. I know, it's great. <laughs> great? <laughs> yeah. uh, hey. oh, shit, uh, my bad. I, um, I can, that just... G getting inspiration from tonight? Uh, one could say that, but um, I, I don't think that you should read that. I mean, it's just ramblings and, and silly thoughts and... Chuck. We should meet outside. Chuck, I didn't Ch mean... Ch I just meet me outside. Did I ever offend you? What? Did I ever offend you or something? Is that why you treat me and everything I do as some sort of comic relief character in one of your stories? Chuck, no, please just listen. No, no, you stop. Stop with using your words. Just let me use mine for once. 
Did I ever offend you? Did I run too fast? Did I make too much of a mess? Did I come off too strong? Did I talk too much? Just tell me what I did wrong, Billy. I want to mend my wrongs with you. I don't want to be seen as weak by you. I don't want to be seen as a laughingstock by you. The visions you have are important and... Chuck's eyes looked at me with great disappointment and admiration, both of which I've always been so oblivious to before this very moment. I'm not good with words, the words that actually matter, the words that have the strength to last years beyond when the page turns over. If the words present me with faults, do I not note them? Do I not observe? Do I not listen? Do I not question? I, I do it all, but it still comes up short. I make these stories in my head. Timeless matters. Sadly though, the time of others never mattered to me. Players on my stage. I never considered myself to be them. Step in their shoes, their stories, their strides. I was played all alone. Alone. In my own discontent and imagination. People enter and exit our lives like players on the stage. They may play different parts during different times of our lives. We do our best to take note.